What I do with the jackfish, I don't throw jackfish on the hill. That thing is outstanding eating. But you just have to, it's got a lot of little fine pin bones in it. So what I do is I scale him, and then I take and cut right down the rib bones on both sides. And then I just fillet the little rib bones out, and take the backbone and the rib bone, and then I lay him skin side down. And then take that fillet knife, and just every quarter of an inch up that whole thing, I cut him this way, all the way up, just like you see right there. And then when I get it done, I'll slice him this way three times, and it just comes in little cubes. And that allows that grease to get down there and fry him up. And I promise you, it's some of the best eating you'll ever have. It's sweet meat, pretty white meat, and it's good. You just have to fry them bones up. And that's all it is to it. That's all it is to it. And I guarantee you, we fix them to lay in on it. We got some fine striper in the, in the pan right now. Some rockfish. Got some rockfish in there. We got some lay I got some little swimmer of catfish to go with them. We got a pot of grits there. And I got some, we got some baked beans, some sliced cheese, and some pickles. We got some catfish that we caught a little while ago. And hold on right there, man. We about to make this him a meal. This is how you this is how you turn a jackfish into a crackfish. Make you addicted to it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell these right here, Savannah Classics Sweet Corn Husk Puffs. They got sweet corn in them. Oh yeah. And I promise you, you cannot make them no better. These things here are outstanding. All you gotta do is throw them in the grease and heat them up. I put it in there while I'm frying my fish. Those things there, good. Look at the price of everything with the coronavirus got beef so high. This here, man, this is fine eating. Yeah, fine eating. Ryan called me and said he had a jackfish. I said, don't you throw that thing away. Bring him. I'm telling you, I'd rather have a jackfish than just any fish to swim. You just got to prepare him a little bit. I guarantee you, and that was one of the biggest jackfishes I've ever caught in my life. That was a big one. Yeah, he was about three or four pounds. Caught him on a beetle spin with a cricket on it. That's as simple as it is.